welcome back to my channel. I can't believe Ted is finally back. I've been waiting for this day for so long. Birthday was a freaking bop, right? And I ha love all of Ted's solo music. I can't wait for this. I'm just not even going to ramble. I've rambled too much lately and I I love tangenting, but let's get started. This is Ted's Nightwalker. Oh, I'm so hyped. Even the way he's standing from the beginning. Like, what the heck? <laughs> Only ten. On the end of hour, so I've been waiting so long, hiding my power. After the calm lies the storm. The case of the missing something. Biologist. Oh, I'm glad I shut it again. I like this concept, actually. <gasps> Rude. <gasps> the, that guitar in the background? Oh. His vocals, guys, have improved so much from debut. <gasps> that change was great. Oh, he's controlling them. Oh my gosh. That backbeat, guys. <gasps> also, those boots. I wish. The echo is pretty. Oh my gosh, is he gonna change again? Ah! Oh my gosh. This is hitting. Okay, let's go. Get some tutting action in there. Dancers out there would that would be considered tutting, yes. It's a nightmare. Ooh. Using his chest voice there was such a good change. Oh, yes. Always live for a Ted dance break. Oh, this echo effect it has. It's so nice. Oh, and then it's like back in the back. That was cute at the end. Okay, um, as always, 10 solo songs hit hard. Guys, I don't know what 10 does. <laughs> this is something that I think you need in order to captivate an audience as a soloist is you need to be able to have pauses and moments of silence. And I love the way that this song went that allowed for that, right? So there were times when, like, it just felt like a breath, right? It was just like there was, there was pausing and there was silence and there was moments of, in the choreo and in the music, which was really nice because it just keeps a different, your eyes going somewhere. And Ten's just so captivating, guys. Like, how can you not love him? <laughs> Like, seriously, I'm, I, I feel like I need to listen to, like, watch this again, like, just to fully encompass everything. But there was something I wanted to mention. I mentioned it a couple of times was this echo effect. There were a couple of times where it was, like, mimicking Ten's voice. And um, 
something that it was just something that really brought depth because you were hearing that and it makes me think of Nightwalker you know I'm assuming I'm not I'm not sure what context they're using in like case of a Nightwalker usually you would think of like a vampire is what I think of when you think of Nightwalker but it could be you know definitely different things are like in this case it kind of felt almost like a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, but not because he was kind of like antisocial in one sense and then really charismatic. So like, if you know, like the story of Jekyll and like Dr. Jekyll and, and Mr. Hyde, it like, it feel, felt a little flip to me. <laughs> so cause like, um, yeah, I, wow. But that echo part, um, really like stood out to me just because I felt like it added so much more depth and the music. So the music was really interesting. And again, it's going back to that electronic vibe that I think is going to happen for this entire year. Now I feel like it's been long enough that that's probably a direction that a lot of artists are going to head towards, which music comes in circles. So I'm not surprised that that's um, something that is here. But it's also interesting how they used it in contrast with his voice. So I really loved, you kind of heard that wubbing bass and um during the first chorus and it really paired well with his voice because his voice um is quite light um and in a way soft I, I it, at times right it just feels like uh, even when like 10 speaks his his voice is quite light light and soft not that he can't get loud it's just his natural affinity to that and I um uh I've noticed this with a, a lot of people, a lot of vocalists and things from from Thailand. They just have, especially when they're they're speaking in Thai, um, and in a certain way, like it just is pitched higher. Um, and you'll notice this with Ten too, the way he speaks um, Thai versus Chinese. I mean Mandarin, sorry, Thai <laughs> versus Mandarin versus um, English versus Korean there the way he is, his voice t t tone is is completely different and so I feel like he tends to lean on like a, a higher pitch for English and Thai and it tends and, and so what that does is it just naturally like I think that's just what he's used to so when when he when it's resonating like it goes here so like you have different resonant resonant parts of your body um, that naturally ring and so um, you'll notice this with a uh, with certain people sometimes they sound nasally and that's resonating here like in their nasal um, and some people will sound um, uh, like down and down here right and that's like been it's hard for me to replicate because that's a really bad sound don't do that but if they if they're doing that they're using the back their throat the back of their throat and that's where it's um can cause a lot of tension and you don't want to do that but I've noticed with 10 he's very it's very light and so he's usually resonating around here which is a really good area for for that resonance to come from and what I've noticed is his improvement and his singing from like and he's been a, an excellent singer and I'm glad that uh, he's able to showcase that here and in, in Wavy a lot more because when he was just doing things like um like with NCTU and doing a lot of rap, that kind of thing, it doesn't show his voice off as, as much. But now I feel like it's def he's definitely getting a chance to like show that off a lot more. And I've just seen like him improve so much as a singer. Yeah, guys, this was a bop. I'm like so excited to like put this on my playlist. And that random Spanish guitar influence in there, I don't know what that was about, but I loved it. <laughs> so guys, tell me what you thought of this come back from 10. Did you love it? Did you hate it? What are some of your favorite songs from um, either NCT or Wavy or just 10 in general? And like and subscribe and leave all your comments down below and I'll see you next time. Thanks guys. Bye!